Wireless ultrasound probes, like these, have been in the market for a long time, but it's only relatively recently the image quality has got good enough that it's worth bet practices considering them. Cosmetically, all wireless probes look very similar and it can be difficult to know how to choose between them when the price point can often vary quite considerably. Today, we compare two. The app allows for different scanning modes and whatever mode you're in affects what calculations you have. So in obstetric mode, if I freeze and go to measure, I have all of my gestational age calculations available to me. This entry level pulse echo convex probe has 80 elements and is priced around $1,300 or £1,300. Imaging really is very coarse. It would work for cystos and spotting free fluid, but it's difficult to imagine how else it could be applied at a veterinary level. The Pulse Echo Duo is 128 elements. It's double the price, but it has additional features like tissue harmonic imaging, colour Doppler and power Doppler, and a smaller footprint as well, which makes it much better for small animal scanning. This probe's colour Doppler performs surprisingly well once colour gain is optimised. Turning harmonics on makes quite a big difference to the image. Harmonics off. Harmonics on. My colleague Josie tried these probes out on a pregnant bitch. Again, we found that the entry-level probe's imaging was very coarse. We could confirm pregnancy, but spotting fetal heartbeats was clearly going to be a challenge. The definition on the 128 element probe was definitely a lot better. In conclusion, the standard pulse echo wireless probe would be fine for very basic veterinary work like spotting free fluid or for breeders looking to confirm pregnancy in their own animals which it would do relatively well in small animals like dogs and cats and even on farm animals like goats. For most vets however, a probe like this will quickly become frustrating and something like the Pulse Echo Duo or a Scan X will present a far better option.